Well, hello, and welcome back to the show. All right, so today we are taking a couple shots at uh, getting a uh, cotton candy for the monkeys. Yeah, so what I plan on doing is breeding uh, the cotton candy with these guys. These guys are the riders that I had discussed in part two. If you haven't seen part two or one, then uh, feel free to get back in there and uh, click on those videos if this is a little confusing for you, you know. But uh, yeah, I'll try and link those videos up there and uh, get them and start getting them into a playlist for you guys. That way you can follow through in step by step order. Okay. So we got these guys uh, set for breeding. I'm waiting for that to happen. Uh, while we wait, I will uh, start talking about a few things on these riders. So I'm going to pull up a few different scenarios in Art Breeder. Okay? When we do that, I'll explain the differences between uh, the two riders and tankers. All right? And we'll also take a look at the tankers here in a little bit. Because uh, I want to talk a little bit about the, the breeding history and uh, how that's useful. So, we will head in that direction here in just a few minutes. 2,000 years later. Okay, they should be finishing up here real soon. Alright, so uh, we will get them started on the main group here in just a few minutes. There we go. A few seconds. There. That'll work. All right. So anyway, uh, the big topics for today. Let's see if we can get a couple steps forward. Wrong monkey. Okay. So, you guys probably don't want to see these guys uh, for the next 17 minutes uh, doing what they do. So, what I'll do is cut this part. We'll get the breeding done. And we'll pop back in and look at some babies. Alright, people. It's our breeder time. Okay. So, let us look at what we've got going on in Arc Breeder. Okay. So as you can see, this is the monkey that uh, is from Project 2. Yep. Okay, so stamina is fine. I want that. This food, not fine. We gotta get rid of that. Other than that, this guy's finished. Yeah, not bad, right? Okay, so let us look at this tanker. Yeah, oh, 253. I thought it was 254. Okay, so I was a number off. But anyway, let's take a look at why this guy's built the way he is. He's built because he's a tanker, hence the name, right? So he's going to be on the front lines in a boss fight, kind of like a T Rex would be. Yeah. Yep. And to be honest, uh, darn, he's got stats like that too. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So, as you can see here, all of his food, weight, ox, and stamina are at zero, right? That means they pooled all of their health, okay, until they hit 253. And then they dumped the rest of the points into melee, okay? So, this animal's not meant to be ridden. Okay, he's meant to be ordered. Alright, so I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't make any sense, I can go into it deeper. But uh, we'll spare you guys for now. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, put it in the comments. Okay, so now that we've looked at these guys, let's pop back in the game. And we'll take a look at them in-game. All right. Well, we'll see you inside the game. 
Alright, this is the tanker that I was talking about earlier. Yep. The almost 40,000 HP. Yeah, that's crazy. That's uh, 254 points into health. Yeah. Yep, this boy can definitely take a beating. Alright, so family history time. As you can see, these folks, um, like I said, this isn't my line, but we're going to take a look at it. So, CA would be the name of the tribe. And then, as you can see there, they're working with a HP. So, they've got that listed. Okay, so they know at a glance uh, what they're working with. And as you can see here, you can see the growth of the uh, HP. As they keep going up, it the levels and everything keep going up so it does provide you a little info on uh, what the folks did to get where they got yeah so checking out family histories is always a good thing yes sir yes ma'am both of you yeah can't leave one out that'd be bad okay so one of the uh, other things I wanted to talk about tonight uh, was uh, the fact that uh, getting these guys the stats to transfer. Yeah, so looking at this, if we get into uh, babies here, we're going to hope for a couple things to happen. We're going to hope to pick up uh, the stats. That's the main thing. We got to get the stats in there first. Then we'll work on colors. So, if I could get a baby with uh, the stats that I'm looking for, the writer stats, and I can get uh, maybe one or two colors, that's a good step forward. We'll be able to work with something like that. So, yeah, well, what we're doing is looking at a little bit of the, the stats, the core stats. We will look at this better when we get into Arc Breeder. Okay, as you can see here, this guy's missing the HP, which we really want to pick up. Okay, so... We are coming close to wrapping that up. Uh, they should be finishing here any second. And then, we're going to look at babies. Yep, this guy here, he's going to be fitting in nicely. We got most of the stats on him. And we got a full color set. So, we definitely can't complain there. That uh, was a big step forward. And with being on officials, he still ain't grown up yet. So, we're waiting on that aspect of it. I mean, we're talking days. Not hours. Days. But that's part of the fun of it, you know? Uh, it's a long-term... Uh, reward system. Alright, we're going to go in here and get this gestation monitoring taken care of. Hi, Senos. Moving on. Alright, taking a look at this first one. Ah, uh, that's pretty bad. We didn't get the stats we wanted and we picked up the food. Next. Okay, same situation when we missed out on the health. We picked up everything and that's not good. Everything but the health. So yeah. 
Next. Three forty-seven. Hmm. Yeah, missed the health. Picked up the other crap. Yeah, so we don't want the speeder of the food. And unfortunately, that's what the male's carrying right now. So he's contaminating the stock. Alright, so what did we get here? We got the health. We got the stam, the weight, and the melee. But we picked up food. Hmm. That one, we, we might leave that one. Yeah. Okay, whoa, let's just take a look at this. Nope, missed out on the health. Not good. Oh boy. Hmm. Got a lot of the colors in there. Got the health. Got everything, but uh, they got the food and speed too. So, I don't want that in there. Nope, oh, come on. Let me throw. Oh, here we go, people. All right. So, we got us a 412 with, uh, well, let's see, one color. Nice. Happy dance. Yeah. All right, so here's the deal. It's a male. It's a 412. And it's got one color. Now we're just breeding for colors. All right, so uh, what I'll do is I'll grow this guy up. And we'll get him to adult. And then we'll breed him. Uh, back into cotton candies that aren't finished yet. So, right now, we'll be breeding for colors. So, this guy's got the color set, right? But he doesn't have the stats. So, maybe we'll get lucky when we keep breeding and we'll pick up more colors plus the 412 stats. But in the meantime, I'll grow this guy up and, uh, yeah, we'll add him to the stock. That's actually going to work out pretty decent. All right, well, guys, if you got any comments, questions, concerns about what I'm doing or why I'm doing it, throw it in the comments. There we go. I can see now. All right. But, yeah, throw it in the comments. I'll do what I can to get to it and answer it the best possible way. All right. Well, uh, let's take a look at uh, this guy real quick. He's the project from part two. I'm going to pull his stats, and we'll take a look at him and Arc Breeder. And we'll also take a look at uh, the tankers. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. That's not a bad day's work right there. And I got the black chest. That's right. Good boy. Okay, folks. Well, that's about it for the episode. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. We will... Uh, keep on working at it baby steps people baby steps all right well folks we will talk at you later all right take care and we'll see you in the next video all right